today I'm going to show you how to build your own double decker in Minecraft. This bus features many different seats and a nice cool stripe design as well. And as always before I start the tutorial I'd really appreciate it if you consider giving the like button a little smash it does help me out and I'd highly appreciate that. But with all that said let's start building. Here are all the materials that you will need. The plot of land you'll need for this is 5 by 24 blocks. So first up, I'm going to grab myself some black wool, and these are going to be for the wheels. And then just come to the bottom left hand corner here, from this point I'm going to count across 6 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On that 6th block I'm going to place one black wool there. And then leaving a gap of 3, placing another one on the other side there. And then after that, starting from this point I'm going to count across 10 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then on the 11th block I'll place another bit of black wool here and another one on the other side leaving a three block gap and then after that I'm gonna leave a gap of two and then place another pair of black wool just there and then for some extra detail and then I'll grab myself a stone button and I'm just gonna place one on the outside of each bit of black wool and the next up I'm now gonna grab myself some polished andesite slabs and firstly I'm just gonna connect each of the wheels together And then coming back to the front, I'm going to place another four rows of three just there. And I'm just going to connect this point with that point. So bridging the middle up. And then connecting this little bit as well. And then as I reach the back, placing another three rows of three to finish just there. And then once that's done, I'm now going to grab myself a quartz slab. And then firstly, moving to the front here, I'm going to place three there. And then moving around, I'm then going to place another three on this side. Another three on the other side. Then I'm going to leave a gap of three. And then I'm going to place eight. Firstly, on this side. And again, another eight on this side. Just there. And then leaving a gap of six, I'm then just going to place another seven slabs going all the way around this end bit just there and that'll create the main base for the bus so I'm going to be building this in layers so for the first layer first I need to grab myself some red terracotta so I'm going to grab some of that and then coming to the front here I'm going to place three just there and then I'm going to place one on either side and then with a quartz slab I'm also going to place one in the gaps just there and the next up, I'm going to place two red terracotta on that side there. But then on this side, I'm going to leave a gap of two for the door. And the next up, I'm now going to grab myself a quartz stair. And first, I'm going to place one upside down, one on the left-hand side of this wheel just there. And then one above that, and then another one to the right-hand side there. I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And after that, moving back to the red terracotta, I'm going to place two on each side there. And then I'm going to get myself a full block of quartz and then place two on each side there. And then moving back to the red terracotta, I'm then going to place another four on each side. And after that, doing what we did for that wheel over there, with some more quartz stairs, I'm going to place another three going around for the first wheel and then repeating that for the second one. And mirroring that on this side as well. You should end up with something that looks like this. And then moving back to the red terracotta, another two on each side, and then three at the back, and then two slabs to finish off. And next up for the next layers. For this, moving back to the red terracotta, I'm firstly going to place one on top of each of the slabs here. And I'm moving around, I'm then gonna place two just there. And the next, I'm now gonna grab myself a black stained glass pane. And first, I'm just gonna place three at the front. This will be for the main window. And then I'm gonna place another five just on top. And then coming around it, I'm then gonna place another two just there. And the next, I'm now gonna grab myself some black wool. And then first, I'm just gonna place two there to begin with and then on the other side placing another two and after that leaving a gap of three on each side placing another 
two black wool. And then another gap of three. And then this time I'm going to place one black wool on each side. And then a block of quartz on top. Because this is going to be where the pattern's going to be formed. And then another gap of three. And then another two black wool. And then another gap of three. Two black wool. And then finally, with some more red terracotta, I'm just going to place six on each side to begin with. And then as I come to the back, two on each side. And then this time I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass. And I'm going to place four just there. And then moving back to the front, I'm just going to fill in the door here. So for that, with some black stained glass panes, just going to place three just there. And to fill in the windows firstly, just for this front one here, I'm just going to use more panes for that one there. But then after that, I'm going to go back to the black stained glass. I'm just going to fill firstly these first two windows with all that. And then for this second one, I'm firstly going to place one black stained glass on each side there. And then after that, I'm then going to grab myself some white stained glass. And then I'm going to place kind of like a, a white L shape with three blocks, just like that. And then in these gaps, adding some more black stained glass just there and then moving across sticking with the black stained glass placing another six to fill this in and filling the rest of the windows in just like this and now for the next layer so moving back to the red terracotta i'm going to place one on there to begin with and then another black stained glass pane in front of that and then this time with some black wool i'm then going to place three on top here for a sign and then I'm going to place another glass pane next to that. And then next to that, I'm going to place another red terracotta just there. And then from this point, I'm just going to build all the way across just until I meet on top of this white glass just there. Just going to mirror that on this side. And then after that, with some more block of quartz, I'm going to place two on each side there. And then returning to the red terracotta, I'm just going to place this going all the way around. And there we are, we've pretty much got the first level of the bus done now, the first floor. So now it's time to get on with the second part of the bus. First up, I'm going to fill in the first floor here, and that's going to be with some quartz slabs. So coming to the front here, I'm going to fill in seven rows of three. Just like this. And then after that, I'm then only going to place two quartz slabs there, leaving a gap for a pole. And then after that, doing the same thing as before, I'm then going to place another seven rows of three. And then after that, placing another two quartz slabs, leaving a gap in the middle. And then after that, I'm just going to place another three rows of three just there. And then that should leave us with a three by three area just at the end there. And the next up for the next layer, so for this, moving back to the red terracotta first, I'm going to place five, going all the way along at the front there. And then going all the way around, I'm just going to place more red terracotta going all the way across until I meet with this quartz block just there. I'm just going to do this on the other side as well. And then I'm going to grab myself some block of quartz and then place another two on each side there. And I'm moving back to the red terracotta, I'm then going to place another nine going across on each side. And then with some black wall, I'm going to place one on the left hand side there. And then with some more red terracotta, placing two next to that. And then for the next layer, so for this, with some red terracotta, I'm going to place two just on each side like this. And then moving back to the black stained glass pane, I'm then going to place five just there and then another five on top and the next I'm then going to grab myself some black wool I'm just going to similar to what we did down here I'm going to place another two just there to begin with and then leaving a gap of three placing another two on each side and then doing the same here but then leaving a gap of three here I'm going to place one on each side and then topping that off with a block of quartz and then leaving a gap of three I'm then going to place another two on each side there and then even a gap or two with some more red terracotta here. I'm going to place row of five at the back there. And then just two on each end as well. And the next I've got to filling all these windows. So moving back to the back stained glass. Firstly I'm going to place four on each side here. And then six on each side here. 
Same goes for this next area. And then for this little section here, I'm actually going to place two on each side first. And then one coming out of the top. And then with the white stained glass, placing another L shape just here. And as you can see by doing this, it keeps this really nice pattern going just there. And then after that, moving back to the black stained glass, filling the rest of the windows in. And the next up for the final layer. So with some more red terracotta, I'm going to place another five at the front here. And then going around, I'm going to build this going all the way across just until I reach the top of this white stained glass here. Just going to do that on the other side as well. And after that, with some more block of quartz, I'm going to place two on each side. And then with some more red terracotta, I'm going to place this going all the way around just there and the next up for the roof so got some more quartz slabs of this and then coming to the front here first thing, I'm gonna place another seven rows of three just here and then I'm gonna place another two quartz slabs on each end there then I'm gonna place another seven rows of three again then another two quartz slabs and then finally just filling in the rest the area here and then just where I've left these holes I'm just going to place one slab on top just there and to finish off the roof I'm then going to grab myself some snow and then starting at the front here I'm going to place two snow on each block to create something like this and then behind it I'm then going to place another 10 snow And then I'm just going to top the rest of this whole roof with the rest of the snow. So filling it all up. So you should end up with something like this. And then with that roof done, that is pretty much the main exterior of the bus complete. Just got to add a few extra details now. So firstly, I'm going to grab myself a stone brick wall. And then from this block, I'm going to place one on this side and then one on the other side there and then with a black stained glass pane I'm going to place one underneath each of these walls and then after that I'm going to grab myself an oak sign and I'm going to place one at the front one number plate there and I'm going to place another one at the back as well and then for some lights I'm going to grab myself a glowing item frame some glowstone and I'm also going to grab myself a block of redstone so at the front here firstly I'm going to place two glowing item frames there with some glowstone in for some headlights and then coming to the back for some back lights brake lights I'm going to place another two glowing item frames there with some redstone inside there and then by doing that that is all of the exterior of the bus done or oh, I can also get rid of this red guide now as well so now moving on to the interior. So firstly for this, I've got a birch fence gate here to begin with. I'm gonna place one just here. This is gonna be for the driver's area. Then I'm gonna place one light gray concrete next to that. And then another one diagonally across. And I'm gonna build that one up. And then I'm actually gonna destroy that slab and replace that with the concrete just there. And then after that, I've got a lever here. I'm gonna place that there for some sort of ticket machine design. And then for a chair, I'm gonna place one deep set tile slab there a banner there and then for the steering wheel I'm going to grab myself an item frame and also a compass I'm just going to place the item frame there with the compass just there and that will create the driver's area and the next up I'm now going to grab myself some deep state tile walls and then just where I've made all the holes here I'm just going to place all these deep state tile walls going through and up all the way to the top just there I'm going to do the same for this side as well just there and then moving to the back of the bus I'm gonna make the stairs going up to the top so for this firstly with some light gray concrete I'm going to place one here and then one diagonally next to that then I'm gonna build this point going all the way so it's level with the quartz slabs there and then this point I'm gonna build this so it's one more higher there and then after that I'm gonna place another two just there and then on top of it I'm gonna grab myself some black stained glass panes and I'm going to place three going around 
some sort of banister just there. And the next for the actual staircase, I'm going to be using some deep state tile slabs. So for this first thing, I'm going to place one there, and then two there, and then one going up there, another one going up, and then I'm just going to follow this around, going half a block up each time, just until I reach the top here. And that will create a nice little staircase. And with the stairs done, it's now time to add the seats to our bus. So firstly, just at the front here, I'm going to place three deep state stairs there. And behind them, I'm going to add some red banners. And then leaving the gap, and then I'm going to place a slab there. An iron door behind that, and a red banner just there for one seat. And that's going to be the same design that I'm going to be using for the rest of the seats on this bus. And the next up, moving a bit more to the back. On this point, I'm going to place another two deep state tile slabs there. Leaving a gap, placing another two, and then leaving a gap, placing a, another two. And then behind each one, I'm going to add another iron door. And then some more red banners in front of each one. And then leaving another gap of three, I'm then going to place another two deep state tile slabs. And then two more doors and more red banners for another two seats just there. And that will create all of the seats for the ground layer here. So now moving up to the next floor and then firstly as you come up here on this point I'm going to place another chair there and then leaving a gap of three placing another two slabs there leaving a gap another two leaving a gap and then another two there and then some more iron doors behind these and some more red banners and then leaving another gap of three and then another two deep state tile slabs Another two, and then finally another two there. And then some more doors behind each of them. And again, doing the banner thing. And by doing that, that will put all the chairs that we need into our bus. And then finally, for a bit of extra light, I'm going to grab myself some torches. And I'm just going to place one torch on every other black wall. Just there. And then as I move down, doing the same thing down here. And maybe one in the driver area as well. And there you have it. With all the seats in the bus, that is the double decker bus complete. And this bus goes very nicely with the bus tutorial that I've just created here. The link to that tutorial will be on the right hand side. And if you want another smaller bus tutorial, I have got a city bus tutorial available as well. So if you want something a little bit smaller, I'd recommend checking that out. So I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. And as always, if you did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it if you consider giving the video a like, as it does help me out, and I'd appreciate that. And I've also got a Discord server, so if you want to join a building community, I'll put the link to that below as well. But yeah, so thanks for watching, and have a good day.